In this video I concentrate on this scene shot here and just analyse it in depth, the case I normally do on all the other scene shots. I use probably six times magnification and you'll see a huge amount of land bridges there and very peculiar structures like a whole civilization down there. But from this height obviously um, it said here this is from a height of 500 feet. I think it's a bit higher. And when I zoom in, you'll see all the various structures there and what look like um, tubular structures, bridges, platforms. Um, I thought I saw one a movement on the soil, so it could be like one of these larger worms I've found before. Um, so this article is about the First Communion. Now, Buzz Aldrin was a 33 de um, degree Scottish right, and obviously. Um, as part of that ceremony um, that was performed on the moon and that's part of his um, Freemason symbols he's using and the Freemasons obviously are very ancient so we won't go into the history now and the Scottish Rite is one of the strongest so here's that scene shot now we'll just go through the whole article then um, it's, it's interesting, you've got nice moon pictures and stuff, and then he landed and back, he's got a big smile, there's Nixon, and there's the parade. But what we don't realise is, by actually zooming in with auto capture and auto focus, we have a, a lot of activity there. The first thing is that cylinder there on the rock ledge, and you'll see a, a lot of land bridges and very bizarre structures, so it's strange how these weren't ever photographed on any of the uh, Apollo missions and zoomed in close. They're always very far away as to show there isn't any life forms or anything on the moon. So I'll actually start putting these pictures that I took now and downloading them and analysing them in the video. We'll hear all the scene pics and we'll go through them one by one to show all the peculiar anomalies just from that one picture. So this is the first one. Basically we see these tubular structures on the ridge. And I'll just try to enlarge it. Some are very clear, some are not. Um, so we'll go to the next one. It's a bit blurred, but obviously there's structures there. A bit blurred again. <coughs> some are very blurred and some are clear, so it's very difficult. Okay, that one's a bit clearer. <coughs> there are structures there, obviously. I don't know if they're growths or are they formed as land bridges or communication structures. That's a very peculiar one there. Tubes there. Let's go to the next one. It's a long tube hanging over. There's the shadow. Looks like a huge worm. Um, very difficult that one. Now I've got some structures. We've got this square structure there with a shadow. We've got that one coming around the edge there on top of the other one. We've seen these type of things before in the other videos, but it's very difficult to try to capture these with six zoom. That's a bit clearer. We see this structure coming outwards, these curved structures there, like land and bridges are they just a natural growths on the moon or have they been formed as communication structures that's a bit clearer that's a good image so we'll get we'll try to zoom in on this one that's obviously a cylinder there <coughs> and it's on the edge um, that's the same one we saw before. There's one curved one, horizontal coming across. That's peculiar. There's things happening there, but it's very hard to zoom in. Mm, this is very difficult. We see things happening here, obviously. There's a thing that goes over the edge there, a structure there, one goes over there. We sort of reached the limit of, uh, this is more interesting, we've seen this one before. Obviously there's a, a definite structure there, and here is one. 
So that's a, a definite type of structure. The only question then is, is it a growth or is it um, made by in intelligent creatures, obviously? Try to zoom in. Are they a living quarters or a tunnels or... Let's go next. That's quite bizarre. We've got these things happening on the edge. Again, nothing that clear. It's a very hard photo to analyse. very hard as well. They look more like growths happening rather than these going horizontal. That's it. It seems as though something's going through the actual soil there and we see something there with a shadow. Could that be one of these large worms I've captured before? I don't know. We got a, a growth happening here coming out. These are the best I can actually do with these photos. They're very difficult. We've got a structure a leaning against that rock ledge and it's got a, a shadow. Again, that's the closest I can do on that. There's a structure growing out of that ledge there. I don't know what that is. <coughs> this becomes more bizarre. This actually has crisscross um, type of platforms happening throughout it. There and there, the shadows happening. Again, it, with this type of uh, magnification, it's very hard. Okay, here we've got something. That looks like a squarish type of platform. We've got these things coming over the edge like tunnels or growths horizontally. If I enlarge it I'll see if I can get it. That's about it on that one. So again it's not a, a very f flat environment that we're led to believe. That one there is good. You see that flat platform there, the tubular growths coming out. Happening here as well. You see all these things crisscrossing across. Again, very hard to make out. That one <coughs> comes around there and there as well. Could be tubular growths. That one there. That one. That's a bizarre one. That could be a growth. I don't know what it is. That sticks out like actually a little a tower. It's got its own shadow. That one has a square shadow as well. That could be a growth. Come back to this picture. Now we go forward. <coughs> forward again. That just looks like a large a growth happening. I'm not sure what that could be. And there's that picture again of the cylinder structures. This is one more of these peculiar Apollo 11 shots where you see these they look a lot more like trail marks through the soft soil than we found in one episode or a few episodes, huge worms leaving trail marks. It's as though these um, craters are actually are leading into large hollow cavities. Look, it seems endless there, especially that one when you analyse it. It's one certain thickness and then it just disappears. You'll see the land bridges there which I'll zoom in on. You'll see vertical structures there. Especially that land bridge, you'll see three or four intersect there. And there's a vertical structure there. You'll see these crawl marks as though they've been left by very large worms or something like that, which I've shown in previous episodes. And this came from um, the Apollo 11 information website which actually said that um, um, after they were splashed down the astronauts are wearing biological isolation suits as precautionary measure against any moon germs and then they're placed in a quarantine facility that contain the astronauts so I've just analyzed 
a Buzz Aldrin Proust of those very peculiar growths on his temple, trying to work out could they have been picked up during the mission. So I'll just enlarge the picture we saw was that one here, which I enlarged, that one there. So I'll just download the things I saw from there. Here they are at the quarantine facility. Obviously just a normal room with windows and things like that. And uh, this picture here, that's where they greet their wives, loved ones. And this is one of the, um, this is the actual quarantine structure there. Let's analyze the pictures now. <coughs> that one obviously shows as though it's a certain thickness, the actual shell, and underneath there isn't anything. It just seems like hollow outlets. And I've seen that in quite a few of these. It's it's bizarre. They're very, very deep, unlike um, uh, our meteors have hit them. They're closing in. Seems like crawl marks through there. There's obviously some structures there on the edge. This was in the background. It's a tubular structure, not that clear. There's one more. Try to zoom in. So they're like horizontal growths. Or they could be artificial structures. There's two more tubicles there. There's that one that just goes straight up and it seems as though it forms a, a vertical type of antenna or a building. There it is. And those two up there don't seem to join the one down the bottom. And we'll start to see some a right angle a patterns happening here as well. If I enlarge it, I think we'll lose the clarity. No, that's good. There we go. So that could be just one and we've lost the colour in the middle. I doubt it. Look at that, that's spectacular. There's a, a lot of tubular structures there. Again, we can't say are they just in the natural growths or are they produced by a in intelligent life form. Look at that, that's bizarre. So I'm not sure if the astronauts could have seen that that high up because obviously I've zoomed in about four times. There's that land bridge I was talking about. It crisscrosses there and there's a vertical structure right there. Bizarre. There it is. And then you've got the tubicle further up, or horizontal structure. There's one of those endlessly deep craters. You've got the tubular structures there, and there's that land bridge again that comes over, and there's a vertical structure there. If I enlarge it, I think we lose, we lose the form. There it is again. There's that thing that represents a crisscross dragging mark, and there is something there producing a, a shadow, and there's that dragging mark again, as so though something's dragging through the soil. And here we have um, something upright there that produces a shadow. There's something there producing a shadow. These are horizontal structures or land bridges. This is actually one down the bottom, and then the, the light catches this object higher up, so it could have been in a, a shadow or whatever and then it lights up because it's sticking out where the, the sun is. I don't think it's on its own elevated. That's the other peculiar question. Could this be just an object that's on its own floating? I don't know. I didn't see any structures connecting it nearby. Peculiar. It's just one more peculiar where that crisscross land bridge was and we've got these tubular structures and yeah that's how bizarre these are and that's by just zooming in about four times are they natural growths or are they produced by intelligent creatures that one's bizarre it seems that it's floating above the vertical one and it's not connected 
I don't see any connection between these two here and the one down the bottom. Well, that's it, it just shows by zooming in there's a lot more there than meets the eye.